In this video, I'll show you how to deploy a Spring Boot application quickly using Elastic Beanstalk. In a previous video, which I had linked in the description, I explained how to provision an EC2 machine and manually deploy your Spring Boot application to the virtual machine. You should check that out as the knowledge is fundamental and then it will help you appreciate the power of Elastic Beanstalk or the power of orchestration services. Elastic Beanstalk abstracts a lot from us and helps provision the resources needed to deploy our application. So when you create an Elastic Beanstalk environment, um, resources like EC2, security groups, IAM roles, etc., are created for us. So let's dive into what we're going to be deploying. So um, I have this simple Spring Boot application from a previous lesson. To deploy this using Elastic Beanstalk, all we need to do to prepare our app is configure the service to run on port 5000. Now, by default, the embedded container that Spring Boot configures for you, which is Tomcat, defaults to port 8080. Let's build and run the application. And then let's run it. You can see that Tomcat, right, started on port 8080 by default. Now, to change the port, all we gotta do is go to application.properties and then set server.port to 5000. Now I'm going to build again and run the application. And now Tomcat started on port 5000. That is all we need to do with respect to the application. So now we're going to give the jar to Elastic Beanstalk to deploy. Let's go to AWS and create an Elastic Beanstalk environment. So here you're going to type in Elastic Beanstalk and search. We're going to come to applications. You're going to create an application. I'll call it product service and then create. And then you're going to create an environment. We are deploying a REST service that serves HTTP request. And then let's leave the environment name the way it is. Domain name, product service. Check availability that's available now for platform Java right and Java 17 now we have options to upload our application code we can upload the code directly from a local file so we're going to click here we can also provide a S3 URL if you uploaded your jar to an S3 bucket. Also, you can deploy a sample application. For now, I'm going to just use a sample application and then I'll come back and upload the code. We're going to have a single instance. Click on Next. So you can create a new role or you can use an existing role. Let's create a new role. And then I don't need to log into the EC2 machine this time. Um, I'm not going to create or use any key. EC2 instance profile is a very important one you definitely want to have. I had created one before, so I'm going to select it. AWS usually have a default instance profile created for you. But I think if you're creating a new AWS account, you may not have an EC2 instance profile. So you need to go create one and then provide that here. And then click on next. Now we're going to still use the default VPC. I'll select all the instance uh, subnets. I don't need a database right now. I'm not going to enable a database. Just leave every other option as it is. Click on next. For the container, I'm going to keep it as default, um, all of that as default, and all that as default, right, next. Right here, I'm going to select basic. And I also, I don't want to activate that. And click on next. If you have environment variables that your application needs, you need to create that. Now, we're pretty much done. I'm going to click on Submit. 
that's gonna take a few minutes about five minutes to be complete so we're just gonna wait as you can see elastic beanstalk is launching our environment so we're gonna wait for this to be green so now that turned green right so you can see here environment successfully launched so to test our service right here you can see here the domain click on that yep um, elastic beanstalk deployed the sample application so to deploy our actual jar click on upload and deploy choose file and go to the directory for um, where your jar is and this is where it is for me and then this is the jar that I want to deploy click on open and deploy so it's gonna take like a few seconds for it to finish you can see if you go here to the product service environment this is still gray you're gonna wait for these to turn green so now this is green the help is green I'm gonna click on the environment and here you see the domain click on that and you can see that the we are hitting our service so now I'm gonna try to hit the product endpoint cool so now we are hitting our service and we have successfully deployed our app now see how straightforward that is there's a lot of things that are happening behind the scene um, for example if you go to EC2 you can see you have instances that are running so you have these instances we didn't have to manually create this instance and let's see you can actually even try to hit that but this is going to be on the HTTPS and uh, our service is exposed on HTTP yeah and then products yeah right and yeah I think that is it for this video I hope you found it helpful if you do please go ahead and like um, and subscribe for more of this kind of content thank you for watching